Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the UI of RetroArch on your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X. Just so you have a visual example here on screen are the couple of different options that you have. You have GLUI, you have Ozone, which is the default one in RetroArch, you have RGUI and you have XMB, which is the PlayStation 3 style. And these are the four different styles. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to choose between one of these. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is of course have dev mode and RetroArch already installed. We're going to be loading up into dev mode and have RetroArch already open. Once you're here, we're going to be coming to our main menu. We're going to be coming to the left bar right here. We're going to be coming down to settings. Once we're on settings, we're going to be coming down here and we're going to be scrolling down until we see the user interface option. We're going to be clicking the A button to open this up. And here we're going to be scrolling down again until we see the menu option here. By default in the newer versions of RetroArch, I believe 1.9.4 and above, we will have this menu option right here. If we click the A button to open this up, here we'll have a couple of different options. By default, it will be set to Ozone. However, if you'd like to go back to the old PS3 style, you can feel free to select XMB and here we will select this. From this point, if you want to save these settings, you need to click the B button to come back out of here. We need to go back to our main menu. We need to come to our configuration file and we need to save the current configuration. From this point, all we need to do is restart RetroArch. So we're going to be quitting RetroArch right here. We're then going to need to launch RetroArch again. And once we do this, we'll brought back into this old UI where we have this PS3 style. And just like that, we have updated and changed our UI. If you'd like to change it again in this new style, you'll have to come to the settings. You'll then have to come to the user interface tab again, wherever it is in your current version, click the A button. And then we're gonna scroll down again until we see the menu option. And here, all you need to do is select whatever UI you want. Anyway, guys, I wanna take this moment to give a huge shout out to the members who help supporting the channel. Sean Daly, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. If you wanna have your name shouted out in future videos or have some other perks, be sure to click the join button underneath any video, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to change the UI appearance in RetroArch on your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, be sure to drop a super thanks in this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and next time as always, keep it saucy. Peace.